moody morning in Milan today, we found ourselves in this piazza with this beautiful church behind us. We're going to head down and see the tournament. And then afterwards do a little bit of shopping, retail therapy. Woo! Lots of affordable options and you get lasagna by the slice. Welcome to the bougiest shopping mall you've probably ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> My girl bad, who she bad, who she fine, she so fine, I'm so glad, I'm so that she all mine, she all mine, speed it up. Nah, I gotta take my time, I swear the clouds roll back the way I see my baby shine. My girl bad, who she bad. Well, I think everyone in Italy is here today, but for good reason. Behind me is the Duomo di Milano. It's a cathedral in the Gothic architectural style, actually the second largest cathedral in Europe, and apparently it took almost six centuries to finish. It's an imposing sight, quite beautiful. Check it out. I think we found a store more in our price range. Okay, so we're just on our way back to the apartment in Pereira. Later on, we're going out for dinner with a friend. And tomorrow, Lake Como. Yay! So we found a vegetarian place on the way back to our apartment. We got a bunch of different items. You can see here an arancini rice ball on a marinara sauce, some pumpkin chips, um, a pastry thing. I think that's um, capsicum, maybe some cream cheese, some other bits and pieces. Looks really good. Okay, welcome to our makeshift cafe or bar. We're just taking a moment to chill. We're dressed in our new digs from today. I'm a vision in brown. Outside there's a whole bunch of bars and all sorts of stuff in the alley. There's a bit of a buzz going on actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really happening neighborhood. So if you choose a really cool apartment, you can just lean on that atmosphere and stay at home and drink really beautiful wine. So what's that one that you've got? So this one here is a Vermentino. It's about 13 euros. I've already tried a bottle of this and it's really nice. We should say, by the way, you can get wine a lot cheaper than that. We've had bottles that were like four euro and really, really good. They're really good. We haven't had a bad um, drop since we've been here. And, and I think Italian white wines get a bad rap sometimes, so we really like the, the subtlety of the flavours. We also really like the opposite end of that spectrum, the really intense New Zealand like Sauvignon Blancs, but totally. it's nice to have variety. Ooh, nicely done. Hey. Okay, I'll fill you up, sir. Please do. There you go. So it's a nice opportunity to reflect on what we've seen so far. We've been overseas for about two weeks now, um, which is crazy. Mm. Um, we've got another two weeks to go, which is awesome. It's not even New Year's yet. Mm. Um, San Francisco was really fun. Mm. I really enjoyed checking out the Chinatown, actually, the biggest Chinatown Ooh. outside of Asia. I had the most amazing, like, sweet spring onion pancake. Oh. It's one of those things, it doesn't sound like it would be as incredible as it was. Um, you sort of had to be there, but it was so decadent. I loved it. Mm, it was an incredible pancake, for sure. Mm, absolutely. And I think we're finding Milan um, the, the cheapest place we've been to so far, which is a little bit unexpected. So good. Like, our lunch today costs like, 13 euros or something for two. Um, we've been having, like, 150 and two euro coffees 
Um, so coffee's cheaper here than it is in New Zealand. Yes. Where now, when you order oat milk, you end up paying about six fifty a cup. Mm. Another good meal we had was in Chamonix. Yes. At Josephine. That was awesome. Yeah. The fondue saviard. Oh, so that combination good. of cheeses, the intensity of that flavour. Yeah. And okay, it was pieces of bread. It was. Dipped in melted cheese. Yeah. Not the most sophisticated thing you could potentially argue, but boy, it was satisfying. Mm, that was the traditional way we looked at yeah. it. I was sort of expecting like vegetables and meats, um, but this particular preparation was bread. So I've had a lot of bread while I've been here, but I've um, been okay. Next up, we're headed to Lake Como. Yeah, so we'll be there for New Year's. Yeah, we've been there before, and it's such a special place. It's a really beautiful place. Um, we're staying in Bellagio again. Um, we're staying like above a, like a bar like area, mm. um, so yeah, we should have lots of fun there for New Year's. And I think it'll be a little bit quieter than Milan, and I think that'll probably be good for us. It should be a nice fireworks display over the lake. And we'll try to take that ferry to a few more locations this time, mm. do a bit more of a tiki tour. Um, but we'll also just take it easy, because we've been filming a lot, we've been travelling a lot. This apartment's been really good, it's actually given us a moment to breathe a little bit and catch up on some sleep. and. Edit some videos and oh, we had really horrendous jet lag for quite a while. So we had to get some sleeping pills in the end yeah. because we were waking up consistently at about 3 a.m. in the morning, which is just getting really tiresome. Really tiresome. I think now we're in a better rhythm. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the trip. Cheers. Salute. Salute.